Hey folks, Ariel over here at Finest, where today what I am doing is replacing a handle on this axe. Um, as you can probably see here, there's a pretty big split here that's fractured up into the head there. At this point, I'm nervous to keep splitting wood with it because the whole axe head could go flying if the handle shatters the rest of the way. The tape that's well worn here is to help cushion that from any missed hits. And this was given to me by a friend who had collected it from somebody else had discarded it when a handle broke and he had put a new handle on it. So I don't know the history of this head. It says something that's half worn off on it that's not really readable. But anyway, this is what I've been splitting my firewood with here for uh, five going on six years now. And I really like the head and could do what most people do and just pitch it, but I would rather keep using it because there's absolutely nothing wrong with this, but it does need a new handle for it to continue to be useful for me. So what I've got is a brand new handle right here. And this is made of hickory, which is the most common material for uh, ax handles. Um, and it comes with this little, together this little wood uh, plug and then a little metal one and I'm gonna retape those up so none of that gets lost for now so the first thing I have to do is get and I'll link below to we'll see how long it holds up but it feels like a fairly good one I got this from house handle none of my local stores um, had any in stock that actually fit my axe head so I had to order one anyway um, I need this to come off of here and so what I'm going to do is, if you can see right in the head there, there's a little, uh, the silver piece is a metal wedge hammered in there. I need to give it room to slide off. So I am going to simply drill some holes beside that to make uh, space for it to be loose. Okie doke, we'll see if that's enough, but let me show you either way here what I'm doing. If you can look straight onto the head there, see how I've made holes on both sides so that it will hopefully be loose. I might need another, uh, another couple holes to loosen up sufficiently. Now I want to tap this off and I don't want to use a steel hammer to hit this because when you hit a hardened steel with a hardened steel, you can cause really funky fa fracturing. So I'm going to see if it will tap loose with my chunk of firewood. It shifted there, but not a whole lot, so I probably need another couple holes to make it actually loose enough. Okay, we're gonna see if that's gonna go. This took approximately 400 more holes being drilled than I originally thought might be necessary. So I guess that's a good thing because it means my ax handle wasn't in any danger, ax head wasn't in any danger of just flying off randomly while I was uh, using it. There it is starting to shift. And a little bit more. The other option, if this doesn't work, hopefully I'm not going to have to go to, would be to take a, a handsaw and actually cut the handle off and then use like a punch and actually just hammer the, uh, the remaining wood shards back out. But that is shifting. Okay, so I had to actually cut that tape that was giving me a buffer. Then that's where it was trying to split, which is the whole reason I was uh, replacing this head in the first place rid of all of the well-used aged uh, protection there and it still is pretty snug. Well, it moves but This is why people just throw them away and buy new ones instead of reusing things. Because this is a bit of a pain in the ass.
there we go. Now there's still stuff stuck in there, but that's the majority of the handle parts out. So now, I'm going to see. Too. Moved it part of the way. Now, just to show you what we've got going on there. That's what that end looks like now, and that's what this side looks like, so we're getting close. Let's see if that's enough wood gone to There we go. Finally got an empty hole through it, and the metal wedge, which as you can see is kind of barbed, which is partly what makes it so hard to get out. That's the hard part. Now I believe the rest of this is actually less complicated. So if you have an old head that is already completely missing its handle, this would be easier to do. Now this is shaped with kind of a teardrop so the, the new handle only fits on in one direction. And you want to pay attention to this, what I think of as kind of the battle axe, and that goes down. So I would be putting on my head on upside down to do that. Okay, now as I try to slide that on there, it doesn't quite, and that's pretty expected because every head's going to have its own little variations, and every chunk of wood that a handle's made out of is going to have its own variations. So, what I'm going to do is take this rasp, and I'm just kind of rounding off the edges, just right on the edge to get it to start in there. close we are. I think one little spot there needs a little bit more. And they can't really make something that's going to precisely out of the box fit your axe head because that they're all going to be different and even the wood's going to change as it goes from different uh, climates to different climates. Okay, I think that's going to go on there, but check out how, see in the end of that, how big that crack is where it's like split down the middle? That gives us room to put it on here and to deal with, again, different variations here. So we're going to try to get this to just start tapping on, and that was not straight, I could feel that. Also show you right as this starts to go on see how you can see daylight around the uh, edges there that is going to completely go away as we get this work the whole way in and if it doesn't if this just slid on really easy you're going to need more wedges to make it snug I don't think I'm going to need many at all I'm just checking as I go that it's going on there kind of straight. I can still see just a tiny bit of, of daylight around there, but it's vanishing. It's 
So this one's really, really, really snug. But as I push it on there, you can kind of see how it's curling little, little wood shavings around as it wedges itself on. I do want to get rid of those as I go, because otherwise they try to, to kind of suck up in there as well. And that makes it even more snug, <laughs> which I do not have a problem with this particular combo with it not being snug enough. So, see, I'm really, really close to having it the whole way to the surface there. Okay. After taking it over to my big wood chopping block to really pound that thing, you can see here how how close to flush it is and on the end there, but see how I've still got a, a gap around here because right at the moment, because this axe handle gets thicker as it comes down, it's most snug here and loosest up here, which is exactly what I don't want when I go to cut something or, you know, split wood or whatever with it because I don't want my head to go flying off this direction. So this is where these wedges come into play. Now my options I have are this one that came out of the old head or the two new ones that came with my new handle. The wood one would be useful if, if this had tapped on here in like one tap and it was really loose. You could hammer that wood wedge down in there and cut this to fit as needed to make that snug. This is so, so snug going on here. There's no way I need that. You could do that and add this little metal wedge. Um, you could do just the wood. You could do just the metal. It's all kind of options to give you um, flexibility to fit different heads. I think what I'm going to try to do is get this one that was in it back in. So this wedge that was in here is aluminum. It's not hardened steel. So now I don't need to use my wood. I can use my um, normal hammer to start slowly tapping that in there and it's going right into that original crack that looked like it was sprung like this before we tapped it in there. That crack is now closed because it's under so much pressure in there but the crack is still visible and I'm just kind of tapping this evenly back and forth down into there and so that's going to make it so that this end of the handle is actually wider than this side on the axe head which is, it currently was the opposite. That way, if it gets loose, the, the head should want to slide down the handle instead of go ejecting off the top, which you do not want when you're splitting firewood. That's getting noticeably snug. Okie doke. You can kind of see there how the uh, that wedge has flattened a bit. It might be the last go round for that wedge and how snug that is. Now there is not even the slightest bit of wiggle room in this thing. It is super solid. Um, so the only thing I'm going to do now is give it its little uh, protective wrap um, here and that's mostly so that when you you miss a hit or something with a knot splits funny and you actually whack a chunk of wood with the handle here instead of the blade that you don't weaken this point and fracture it any earlier than you have to. Like the old one fractured wood eventually is going to wear out given enough age and enough impacts to it but this kind of helps. Sometimes you'll see if you buy a brand new one that they've even got a cool little like leather wrap right there. It's the same same idea of of having that kind of protection right on the spot where it can get the most impact to it. So just going to use this duct tape, which I think has the logo of some team or another on it. Somebody gave it to me. I don't follow sports. I don't even know what, what sport or what team that's from, but it's a nice strong duct tape. So we're gonna do a few wraps with this. And then the only other thing I'm going to do to it is take that same mineral oil that I use on my wood countertops in the kitchen and um, oil the handle really well just to 
kind of protect it as much as possible from the elements because I do split wood outside when it's wet or snowy or whatever else. So that is going to be the last step. And this is more work than even I thought it was going to be, I'll admit. I still like the idea of reusing things and keeping useful things useful and not just discarding them, but uh, putting a new hand on is some work. If you're wanting to do it, be prepared for it to take you more effort than you plan on. For one, if you've never done this before, I would say. And two, um, it can be a great way to get a, a good tool because I've found if you go to thrift stores or antique stores, there's often buckets of old tool heads like axe heads or other things sitting around that are almost free because nobody wants to take the time to bother putting new handles on them. Now there is a faint chance because you never know quite how wood is going to react because of its different grains and different tendencies. There's a chance the first time I go to split wood with this, this handle could fracture funny and I could need a new one again. But hopefully that won't be the case and hopefully this will let me use this for I don't know how old the handle was that was on there when I started using it, but I have been using it for um, nearly six years now. So hopefully I get at least six or more years out of this handle replacement. And maybe by then I'll have forgotten how much of a pain it is to do and be inspired to do it again so that I can keep using my same axe head to continue splitting my firewood. So there we go, pretty nice cushion there just for the wood to kind of give that a buffer for impact. And I'm gonna oil it and go back to splitting wood with my nice new handle. And I might cut that in half and I'll have one piece of hickory hardwood to, uh, or two pieces to burn in my wood stove since I don't live in the area where hardwoods grow. Hopefully that's helpful if you have ever considered putting a new handle on an old tool. Have a great day, guys. Hi, folks. Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here. Subscribe so you don't miss any updates. And if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.